Hello from Tokyo! Today, I have some paints left over from doing some reverse flower dips. So these are thicker than what I usually use as a pouring medium. It's not the uh, very thin clear PVA glue. This is Elmer's glue today. So it's actually a bit lighter in color because that's a white glue. So I'm going to use all of these colors and do a seven chamber split cup with just these leftovers. Just play around because I am very bad at that technique. I think I've only done it like twice before, so I thought I'd have a go. So I'm just gonna see how these colors look next to each other in the seven chamber split cup. You can see here how thick it is this time. This is, uh, I think it's cobalt blue ultramarine and then light gold, but it looks whitish, right? Because I've used that white glue. So I'm going to put some of the pearl white down here. And then this is the turquoise blue. And then this is the cobalt blue ultramarine. There's a lot of paint here for that tiny canvas. This is light gold. And then I have the primary magenta, but there isn't that much here. Um, so I do layer it with the gold, but in retrospect, I wish I had put that at the top. And this is a violet color that I've mixed with something else. I think I've mixed it with pearl white. So, and then this is pearl white with, again, violet, but it's very, very light. It's more of a shiny lilac color. And um, I'm gonna layer, keep layering the cup up so it's filled to the top because I just have all this paint left over. So in actual fact, I did do a second painting after this one, but it wasn't, um, it wasn't something I particularly liked. So I'm just gonna show you this one. To be honest, I am so bad at this technique, but I just wanted to show you um, that I'm bad at it, you know, because <laughs> you have to learn from it. And so I know with this that you have to stretch it out for it to look good. And so it's better on a larger canvas or um, I should have layered it a little bit differently, I think, because I was wanting the, some of that magenta to come out and I didn't feel there was enough of it until I had poured quite a bit out of the cup. So you'll see what I mean. That's why I keep going with um, pouring more paint out. But anyway, let's start painting. I think I could have just stopped here, but this is where the magenta starts to become more visible. So I carried on, um, but there's a lot going on here. And yeah, I carry on a little bit longer. I'm sure I didn't need to do these extra bits, but I think, I don't know, it's quite soothing pouring the paint down, it's quite therapeutic. But now I'm finally going to stretch this out quite considerably so a lot of the paint is going to come off.
I'm not so sure of what's going up on the left hand corner there that side although I like this bit there with the gold layered so I want to keep that gold bit and I'm going to try and uh, tilt that part off so yeah this is still going to be stretched out a lot more I'm still not happy with that green part in the corner facing you at the moment so I'm gonna just take that all off now I think it was probably pearl white that mixed with maybe gold and the turquoise blue um, yeah it kind of went a little bit strange grayish color but I'm loving all the other colors I think I'm starting to overstretch now. There must be a fine line between too little stretching and too much stretching. So let's stop here and have a look at the wet finish of the painting. I love the gold on this. It kind of looks like petals to me. You know, like um, when you do paintings with ink? Reminds me of ink paintings. I think some of the pearl white split, can you see there? There's a bit of splitting going on there, but hopefully it should be okay when it's dried. It won't be that noticeable because there isn't too much of it. I need to try this out on a larger canvas with the same colors, but maybe also with mm, titanium white and more gold maybe. This is the uh, landscape um, view of it. So now let's have a look at the dried version. It does look a lot darker, but it always does with these colors. That's why maybe putting titanium white is a good idea, but I do love it. Also, it will look different in the um, different lighting. And if I varnish it, but it's dried well. The split with the that we saw earlier with the um, pearl white isn't that noticeable. And I think that gold bit on the right there looks like an eye, like um, a parrot's eye. Um, you'll see what I mean when we zoom out. It looks like a bird. I always find birds in these sort of paintings. Can you see? <laughs> it looks a bit like a bird. The Elmer's glue, the white glue, definitely makes it shinier than the clear PVA glue that I usually use. It's interesting if you can experiment with different types of pouring mediums, different glues or different glosses you want to put in. It's lovely in this lighting, isn't it? See, it's much brighter actually. Well, I had a go at a technique I'm not very good at, but it was enjoyable and quite therapeutic. I think I'll do it again. I hope you enjoyed this video today. Thank you so much for watching as always and see you in the next one. Bye.